Hey, it's Mitchell. We are in Hanoi, Vietnam. Bit of a cloudy day, excuse the rooster. Today we're gonna to talk about why it's time to sell all of your Nikon gear. Before we jump into this, I'm gonna have a blog article up on my website that's gonna go into some further detail about how I feel about the subject and why I specifically think that from a cost benefit analysis standpoint, it's time to sell all of your Nikon gear. I'll have a link to it down in the description. And if you guys are on the blockchain social network platform, Steemit or DTube, I'll have a link to my profile over there. Go ahead, check it out. Also, I wanted to tell you guys about my Facebook group, Travel Tubers. It's a place for traveling digital creatives to get together, share the videos that they create, techniques, tips towards traveling. We have everything in the group from where to find specific camera equipment to drone laws in countries. Here's the four reasons why you should sell all of your Nikon equipment right now. So the first one is the death of the F mount. If you've been paying attention to any of the rumors from either Nikon rumors or other photo rumor websites, it's pretty clear from the patents that Nikon has been getting approved for that they are going to be introducing a new lens mount uh, rumored to be called the Z mount to their mirrorless cameras. Now, there's also rumors of there being a first party F mount to Z mount accessory, but from a sheer economic standpoint, the fact that Nikon's going to be introducing a new mount, the fact that their mirrorless cameras are going to be where all of their innovation is at, it's significantly going to drop the price of current F mount glass. So if you're a current Nikon shooter and you wanna stay with Nikon in the future when they do move mirrorless, it'd be a great idea to pull all of your money that's currently invested in F mount glass out, hold on to it, and invest in the Z mount glass when it becomes available. My second reason for advising everybody to sell their F mount glass and their Nikon cameras right now is that if you have any intention on shooting video whatsoever, Nikon, unfortunately, is not going to be even remotely in the top three for camera manufacturers with DSLRs, which have you know 4K video capacity. There's a couple reasons why I feel Nikon is not going to be making any significant improvements in the video realm, but the first and most obvious one that I would like to point out to all of my viewers and to everybody on the internet is that Nikon does not have any sort of pedigree in video cameras. If you look at the current consumer or prosumer cameras on the market from uh, Sony, Canon, and Panasonic, you are going to notice that all of those manufacturers have a long history, not only in video cameras, but cinema cameras. Sony's been making cinema cameras and video cameras for at least 20 to 30 years. So is Panasonic with their Vericam system. And Canon obviously started making digital video cameras in the early 2000s. So all of these companies not only have experience in color science, which is something that's really important, but they also have a background and a pedigree in being innovators in their specific field. And I'll go into a little bit more to this in my blog post, but unfortunately, while Nikon has tons of experience doing the stills photography standpoint, they don't have the same experience or the same pedigree when making video cameras. So when I look and project towards the future, I see Nikon continuously playing catch up on the video realm. Now, the third reason is that adapters suck. Even the you know, most popular lenses that are used on Sony cameras, uh, which are other mounts, generally are Canon, and even those lenses don't have the same autofocus capabilities and the same responsiveness when used for shooting stills as the native Sony glass. So even though adapters are getting better, it's unlikely that we're gonna see a huge performance jump 
in the compatibility, uh, especially with Nikon lenses to Sony cameras or Nikon lenses to Panasonic. And unfortunately, because of that, you know, it's only going to hurt the value of Nikon glass more, or at least the autofocus glass more, because the number of people wanting to use those lenses for video is just gonna significantly diminish. Although many professional video shooters use manual focus as a hybrid shooter or as a low level professional video creator, the ability to have a camera that does both phenomenal stills and video with good autofocus performance is paramount. And because most of my audience watching this doesn't have enough money for separate video or film cameras, we need the best bang for the buck when it comes to utility and when it comes to versatility. The fourth and final reason why you need to dump all of your F-mount glass now, if you have any aspirations of doing video, is because unfortunately, while Nikon does have the capability to create a phenomenal video camera, they have the hardware with it. Um, just look at the D850 and the processing power it needs to be able to write files of that size with that speed. We know that the, the, that camera has the processing power, but it's still limited to 35 megabits per second when shooting video. So even with Nikon's newest camera that they created with the intent on you know potentially being the the best you know dslr ever made um, or conventional dslr ever made we still see nikon falling terribly short in the realm of not only color science because there's no true log profile with the d850 but we don't see any type of uh, either difference in codecs or different in, difference in bitrate even though that camera potentially has the processing power to uh, move that much data. So my expectations for Nikon's future video cameras are really limited only because when Nikon had the opportunity to hit something out of the park with the D850, we still see a ho-hum to moderately acceptable video camera in what was supposed to be Nikon's kind of ace in the hole. I am gonna go ahead and cap the video here. If you want more information on this, I did a long blog article post on my website. It's also up on my Steam profile and I'll have links to both of those down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time guys, it's been Mitchell Millennial coming to you from Hanoi, Vietnam. Peace.